Hi everybody! Welcome to the virtual classroom number two for Jessie the Jellyfish. We feel so excited to be here today and can't wait to get pretty arty with you. So make sure that you've watched last week's video where Laurie, the author of Jessie the Jellyfish, tells her story. It's really going to help her today. So today we're going to do a little bit of painting. So make sure you have a piece of paper or card, some paint, paint brushes, water and a tissue and then we're ready to go. So before we get painting, we're going to have a listen to some sea sounds, a bit of sea music. So I want you to close your eyes and whilst you're listening to the music, I want you to think about... Now whilst you're listening to this music, the sounds of the sea, I want you to think about what you can see. What colours are around you? Are there any images floating about? Now just relax. And imagine you are under the sea. So before we get painting, we're going to have a listen to some sea sounds. So can you close your eyes whilst you're listening to the sounds? Think about what colours you can see. Are there any images floating around? Now just relax. And imagine you are under the sea. Now slowly open your eyes you come back to the room you were in at the beginning. Now whilst we are painting today, have a think about all of those images that are in your head. I reckon we're ready to start painting now. So I'm going to start off by painting a blue wash onto my background. Now a wash is when we use a bit more water than usual, kind of washing. So I'm going to get a little bit of water and I've got my blue paint. Now my blue paint is already quite watery so I don't want to use too much. But if your blue paint is thicker, just use a bit more water. And with my really big paintbrush, I'm just going to do really nice big strokes going across the whole page. Can you do that with me? So let's all paint. Fantastic. Now I have my blue wash. Now when I closed my eyes, I definitely saw more than just blue. Did you see any other colours? Now in my head I saw some greens and yellows and sparkles of white kind of with the waves and little twinkles. So I want to try and recreate that now. So I'm going to get a little bit of a finer paintbrush, not too fine though, it's still, it's still kind of a medium paintbrush. And I'm going to use some paint but without the water. 
So first I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and I'm just going to think about, oh, where are the waves that's kind of highlighting? Maybe this is the sun shining into the sea. Now I love to mix my paints. So I'm just going to wash my paintbrush, dry it, because I want a nice dry paintbrush when I'm doing this. And I'm going to get a little bit of that blue again, so then it's darker. So I can actually mix on the page. Really nice. I think, oh, I'm going to get a little bit of a, a little bit of white, just to highlight at the top there. Now you can keep doing this until you're happy with all the different colours that are in your ocean scene. So let's see what we can create. Now it's really starting to come together. All the beautiful colours that build on your... All the beautiful colours that make your ocean scene. However, in our lovely story of Jessie the Jellyfish, there was something in Jessie's home. Can anybody remember what that was? Hmm. There were bits of plastic 
floating about. So we're going to change our beautiful ocean scene and just cut little bits of plastic and stick them in different places to represent where Jessie's home is at the moment. So I'm going to choose one of my pieces. I'm just going to use some scissors to cut a little strip off. Now you can just use ordinary PVA glue or Pritt stick to stick this on. Anything goes. I'm going to use Pritt stick as that works really well for me. So I'm going to get some Pritt stick. I'm going to get quite a lot on it. So make sure you really fill it with lots so it's nice and sticky. And then I'm just going to start to stick little bits of plastic around my picture as if it's floating in the sea. Can you have a go at that too? Now the plastic that I'm using today is non-recyclable bits of plastic. It's really thin and basically you can't recycle it. So you just throw it in the bin and it builds up and so much of it ends up in our ocean where Jessie the jellyfish will be floating around. I'm going to keep on adding a bit more. ocean scene looks a little bit different now, doesn't it? Hmm. What can you do to stop this from happening? Maybe you can have a think about that and over the next few weeks we are going to think about recycling, reducing and reusing. The three R's, very important. I hope you enjoyed painting, and then building on with plastic, listening to all the sea sounds. We can't wait to see what you create. Enjoy, and see you next time. Bye.